Live from CTV's festival headquarters in Toronto, it's the hottest ticket at the Toronto International Film Festival. The E-Talk Star Schmooze, live on the red carpet. There's a limo that just pulled up, and um, I believe it is the cast of a movie title that I don't want to say here because it's not very parent-friendly or kid-friendly or TV-friendly, but I believe we have Carly Pope, Natalie Lasinska, and Aaron Abrams. Come on over, people. What a handsome sandwich. Where should I be? I don't belong. I don't belong. Here, let me, let me go over here. And I think we have to, yes. So listen, is there another word that we can use instead of? I think people no. want to hear you say it. I think you should just say young people I think that's what should happen. Anybody else want to well, hear it? I think we should do it. I it's all right. Okay, okay, I think, I think you've said it. I think you've said it. Now, girls, I'm sorry, I have to cut you off here. Oh, now, what did you tell your parents when you, you know, after accepting the roles, and then how did they react? I think I told them it may or may not have been over Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> In fact, I think it was. And Turkey was a little dry that evening, wasn't it? Yeah, there was lots of uh, there was there was just lots of cranberry sauce repeatedly going nice. into the mouth. Lots of stuffing too. Uh, I think I said, "Mom, Dad, you're gonna have to sit this one out, but trust, me, just trust me. It's worth it." Absolutely. And um, your dad maybe gave you a hearty high five. Uh, yeah. I think actually they don't know until just this second. So this will be a, a rude awakening for them. Congratulations being here at TIFF. How does that feel for you guys? It's really cool. It's really nice to be promoting a Canadian film and one that's really accessible, I think, to everybody and really fun. Absolutely. And it's about the fans, right? Yeah. Absolutely. You know, I, I live a block from here, so it's it's I'm a local guy, and to have a, a, a film in this festival with this kind of buzz and to sell out and things like that, it's it's a great honor. Uh, now, lastly, sex, casual sex can be a little complicated when people are involved. And, uh, Okay. <laughs> and so, is it because you can never really separate love from the sex or what? I think we all want to put on a brave face and pretend like we can, but I think it's next to impossible to be able to actually uh, not feel something when you're that vulnerable with somebody. But maybe it's easier for the guys, Aaron? Uh, I don't think so. I, I think that there's maybe a more of an attempt to separate intimacy from effing, but uh, to... I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I lost my head earlier. Um, but I, I, it, we mess it up just as bad. It's very, our generation specifically, I think, makes an attempt to separate those two things, and it's very difficult. Well, one thing you're not going to mess up tonight is partying, so why don't you guys go in and have a great time, say hi to your fans. Thanks Absolutely, you thank you, Tony, thank you. Let's go see what Ben's up to. Oh, Tanya, I'm about to give you the world's worst segue, so bad, in fact, that they might take my microphone away from young people effing to young people singing and old people judging. I'm standing here with the second most famous person from Canadian Idol, Zach Werner. How are you? 